welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have the camera too high. Better. Um, we are going to make a Dollar Tree welcome sign and not a small welcome sign. We're making a standing welcome sign and what we need, I'm going to give you the material list. I bought nine of these. Okay, I bought 10, but I'm using one for something different. But I bought nine of these. I took off the raffia and the metal leaf. And then I'm gonna insert a video here. and I sand it off all of this because even though I can sand it off you can still feel it like it's not glittery right now but I can still feel the adhesive and I want to rotate my stems now if you don't want to rotate your stems I would still scrape off the glitter but paint on the back so you need a bunch of signs now if you don't want it super tall or you don't want to do welcome you can have as many pumpkins as you want. I'm doing nine and I will show you why. Um, I bought this paint. This is Waverly in the pumpkin. Uh, you definitely need a bigger container than the little ones. I don't think one of this size would work. And then I'm using truffle and mineral. You can use any paint you want. This is the paints that I chose, but you can use any paint you want paint brushes and then a plate or something to mix your colors with to do some highlighting and then I bought a um, it's called a furring strip it was two dollars and fifty eight cents and I used it if you remember when I um, did my bathroom downstairs and I framed out my mirror this is a leftover piece of furring strip but the whole one was two dollars and something and I cut you know maybe this much off of it but you could also just glue them together. You could use popsicle sticks, although I don't know how strong that would be. Um, because I'm going vertical with this sign, you could also go horizontal with this sign if you wanted to do it like over a door. Um, but the way I'm doing it is vertical. So I sanded all of those. I'll show you here. Okay, we're back. And then I painted all of my pumpkins some this way and some this way but I painted them all oops and they're not quite dry yet in pumpkin orange and then I'm gonna go back and paint the stems in truffle and then I'm gonna add some highlights and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to these I already did four and I have five left that need to be done and I'm gonna show you how I paint them um, I am gonna use my Cricut to make the, the letters but you don't have to you could trace them freehand them I'm getting my Cricut out anyway so I'm gonna do that but let me switch directions with you and show you how I am highlighting and painting my pumpkins okay with this mineral from Waverly I will tell you I just stirred this and I'm not sure if you can see it separates a lot but I just stir it the truffle is a nice dark brown so we'll start there and I'm going to paint my stem. I could pour some of this paint out, but I'm really only painting the pumpkin stem and some of them might get covered up, but I don't want to be rushing around after the fact trying to paint stems because you can see them. So I haven't lined them up on this board yet to permanently attach them. Um, and I'm probably going to use all kinds of adhesive like E6000, possibly hot glue. I'm going to try my staple gun. We're going to see what we can get to attach it. But any of them will work. I'm not 100% sure on the staple gun. All right. So I'm painting, painting, painting. And I'm just covering... I like to cover the sides on the orange on the brown I did not do the orange um, we can go back and do that I just didn't I don't know why it's a thing okay so stem is done 
And if you don't know how you want to do it, you could always paint both sides. But I'm not going to waste the paint on that. Okay, so in here I mixed brown and orange together to make like the highlight strips. And I honestly just freehand it. Just come in with this color. I'm going to go over it with some uh, orange after I'm done. So if it's kind of dark at first, it's okay. But I want these little highlight, you know, to make it look round like a pumpkin. And the lettering is going to go here in the middle, but I don't care if it goes over the highlight. I'm okay with that and then I'll come back in here with this mineral and I don't want it all dry I really just kind of want to um, blend it together if it blends a little you know get some gray in here I'm gonna go over it with some pur purple no purple I'm gonna go over it with some pumpkin here in a second there we go so if you like it that strong, you could leave it like that. I wanted it a little muted. So I'm gonna come back in here with the pumpkin orange. And just kind of go over it a little bit. And when it dries, they'll show up better. It looks like I'm just covering them right back up, but I'm not. I'm just blending them in. Everything is still a little on the wet side. So I'm kind of giving it a good blend, but I am going to go back over it again. So you'll see. I'll do two of them for you, and then I have to, everybody needs to dry. Now, so you can still see the brown and a little bit of the gray. But what I want to do now is take some more gray and just kind of go over into the wet orange paint. And this is all personal preference. You know, it's just highlighting the pumpkin because you want to see the shapes. There. Now, again, it's not dry. And when it dries, if I need to go back over it, I certainly can. So let's move on. We're going to do that again. So first things first, we're going to paint the stem. I'll do the sides after the edges, but I'm just, and I'm not getting too fancy with the stem because again, we may, although I am gonna go back in and highlight it, but I want it dry first. And then I'll mix some of this truffle with the mineral and just give it a little highlight on the stems, but I wanted this brown to dry before I went back and did that. Different technique, but it's okay. All right, so we got that brown. And then we're just going into this. And you could do these any colors that you want. Do white or a cream color taupe with some gold. Would be really pretty, especially for indoors. This is going to be outside, so I really want it to... Um, I want it to be dark enough that you'll see it. So I didn't want to go with white because I felt that would get too dirty too quickly outside. And I'm just doing arcing in the natural shape that a pumpkin would have. And I'm not doing anything here in the middle because again, that's where the letter is going to go. Then I'm printing in black. And then I'm just kind of highlighting. Nothing too exciting here. And the more layers of paint you get on here, the more in depth it's going to look and the more detailed. And then we're going to come over with the orange, just kind of blend everybody in the pool. And I'll have three more to do. And then they're going to need it to dry really well. Um, so this is a multi-day project. No step is too difficult. It just has to dry in between, if that makes sense. So here we go. Let's get some gray. Um, this mineral is really a gray. 
but I can show you here in a second how I want to highlight up here. But I gotta get another paintbrush. Out. Ooh. Just gonna put a little of this dark truffle over here and then a little of this mineral on this brush and this is a tiny little fine line brush but I would like to let's see I don't know if you'll be able to see it Need a little more mineral in there. The mineral is this gray color. There we go. And I'm just mixing it. Nothing fancy. There we go. And then we're just gonna kind of highlight there. Oops. Okay, we'll do that again. I just mixed up some truffle and mineral on this very fine line brush and we're just drawing in some highlights on the stem here. Here. All right, I'm going to finish up all these pumpkins. Let them dry, and then tomorrow I will show you what I'm going to do with them. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to line up our pumpkins, and I hope you can see what I'm doing. Oops. I've got the first one down. This is my strapping board that I bought for like $2 and something cents. Now I'm going to go wompy caddis. There's a good term for you, but I, I don't want them straight. So I'm going to go at an angle and I want to get all eight of them on so once I've decided I have my staple gun here how I want the next one in line to go I'm going to pick it up put some glue down here and I think if I want to go that way right I'll put some glue here and a dab of glue here. So I put some on the pumpkin and on the board. The glue is not going to do much, but just keep it from moving while it, this dries. I have a staple that goes in place. The staple only goes at the bottom. And so this is just kind of keeping everybody in one place and then we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna go this way so this way this way we're gonna go the opposite direction got a little bit of glue out here and I just put in the glue where the staple is quite frankly I could use a hammer to get the staple in a little more but I think we're okay and this is really, this is like E6000. There we go. So what we're gonna do on this one is hold it in place. There we go, that one nice and deep. And then we have the glue up top here to hold the next one up. You can see. And I'm just gonna continue down the line.
Alrighty, we've got the sign all standing up. Everything is pretty sturdy on here. Now, you could totally use any kind of sticker you want. I happen to cut off some letters from Cricut. Um, I don't need transfer tape for these, but I'm going to put them on the pumpkins and I want them to line up. Uh oh, where's my C? There's my C. I dropped one. All right, so we're going to start up here with the W. And. I'm not even going to make these super like fancy because I really like kind of the whimsical, cutesy um, way that this is turning out. But if you're more of a straight line kind of person, which trust me, I get, you can measure everything out. But I'm not going to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm just coming up here. I'm gonna drop this W where I think it goes. If I don't like it, I'm not pushing it down super hard. Sorry if you can't see through me. And I'm just laying it down and before I push it, I just wanna make sure everybody is making good contact. And I'm gonna spray this with some sealant. It is gonna be on the front porch of my house, but it's not going to be um, in the weather. My porch is covered. And then we're going to do the next couple letters. We'll do an E here. And then I will show you the finished product. And while we're doing this, I went to therapy this afternoon and my arm is sore. We did some more needle, dry needling today. There we go. I don't really want that in that exact spot, but it's fine. So we have W-E-L, it's probably backwards. And like I said, these they have poster size stickers. These are four inches long. But they also sell poster stickers at the Dollar Tree. So what we should do while I'm standing here doing these last letters is do the math. Um, I use this furring strip. It was $2.58 at my local store. Then I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I used eight pumpkins, so that's eight dollars. So eight, nine, ten, fifty. Maybe a dollar or two for these vinyl. So less than fifteen dollars with paint and supplies to make this sign, which I think is turning out completely adorable. And I hope you all agree with me. I'm going to put this last letter up, which is our letter C. And then I will show you the whole shebang. And because this isn't pushed down really hard, if I don't like the, lay, the way it's laying, I can peel it up. But you just lose some adhesive when you do that. All right, so all the letters are stuck. I'm going to turn you around, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And here is the finished sign. It's about as tall as me, so about five and a half feet tall. And I'll bring you over here for a close up. Oh, I cannot wait to get this on my front porch. And again, if you like your pumpkins more straight, you can put them any way you want. I just like the whimsical feel of this for the fall on my front porch. And oh, here's a little Wellington. Nope, that's. Alex on the floor. Wellington's over here behind me. Alex. Nope, Wellington. I see his white little paw. <laughs> Black cats, they're hard. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this DIY and you can make one for yourself. Have a good one. Night.